Report. Ashley Blevins here at the Brooklyn Pizzeria in Newport, Tennessee. Thank you again, Brooklyn Pizzeria. Without Brooklyn Pizzeria, we would not be here every Monday night. Exactly. That is true. Food is amazing. Come out, check us out every Monday night, 7 o'clock. So how was everyone's weekend? Will, we've missed you. You've been gone for a few weeks. You've been busy. Work, work, <laughs> work. Work. <laughs> work. Expansion, work. I missed you guys. Well, like thank to be you. here. Like talking about football. I know. Uh, the weather's turning into some really good yep. football yes. weather right now. We've got this great looking middle school football team I here. I know. Round of uh, applause for them. Yeah, that's Thanks right. Give a round of applause back there. Being a part of our show. Our group. Are they the little roosters? Is that what they're called? I think the roosters. They're Just the roosters. roosters. Okay, roosters. They're the roosters. Yes, uh, all right. They're the roosters. All they got right. their jerseys. They're, oh, whoa. They're not, they're not the roosters. We what got, are you? Cock County, County Middle School. Middle School. All Cock right. My bad. Right. Yeah, give us oh, that. Cock County Middle School. Yeah. Cock County Middle School. Yeah. Yeah. Middle School. But yeah. they are the Roosters, though. Yeah. Regardless, they, they look great. They, they look like a good football team. They uh, do. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are oh, here. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I got, um, got one thing. Yeah, what? Will, this guy here, he's in the judges' seat. He was oh, in yes. your seat. I know. And he's... He's, he's, yeah, I, I, gave, I gave him. I gave him the scoop. I was stinking it up. I know you were. Up. You were doing great. I was. I was stinking it up. But this man here. I, I gave you the scoop the other day. I'm glad you're back. You called yes. BB over Sevierville. I called Sevier County. I mean, I know for somebody that did not want to be on this show, it seems like he's brought his been on the show week. a lot. He's filling in for the judge this week. Judges um, on his other job, so he will be back next week. We miss him. Uh, let's get right in. A Pigeon Forge and Granger County. They're playing each. Other. Pigeon Forge beat Union last week. Um, what are we thinking, Will? Pigeon Forge is tough right now. They're coming out, firing on all cylinders. Uh, Granger County High is, is a good team, but I just don't see them getting past uh, Pigeon Forge. Chris? Granger County? They're still 0-4. Is that what that they're record? I think so. 0-4. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Coach Meadows, he'll have them ready. Pigeon yep, Forge. Yeah, Pigeon Forge. It's unanimous. Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge it is. Okay, Gatlinburg Pittman were there every week. Coach Hammonds, uh, they're playing Cumberland Gap. Chris? Gatlinburg Pittman, oh, man. You know, they took a beat down last week they against did. Fulton. So, I think they're, uh, you know, my favorite word. I think they're hungry mm -hmm. for a win. So, I'm going with Gatlinburg Pittman. Okay. Definitely the same thing. GP is going to come out on top. Fulton, I mean, they'd probably do that to anybody, maybe even Carson Newman, who knows. But yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're definitely uh, going to be revenge factor this week, coming out ready to Speaking go. Speaking of Fulton, uh, a word from Benny Hammonds this, morning, this afternoon said, you cannot outrun Fulton. That, no yeah. way. They're, they're, they're no a way. talented football team, but speed wins every time. Speed kills, speed kills. I'm going with GP. Okay, we'll see what you do, GP. Okay, Science Hill versus Brentwood Academy. Chris. Hey, Science Hills is on a roll. They've done they a lot are. of great things so far this year. They're undefeated. Brentwood Academy is always tough. Uh, back in the day, you used to bring back some state championships. But uh, this week, Malik Magoo and the crew, I won't go with the Hilltop. Hey, we'll see. That's we'll my see. team. Same here. I've got to pull for Science Hill. I mean, I always got to pull for a public over a private school, and <laughs> know, it's right? important. I mean, yeah. it's important, and uh, uh, Science Hills in our backyard, and they've got a they've got a tremendous program right now, and they're really coming together. So, uh, Science Hill. Science Hill. Sorry to go judge. With you. judge? You Since think? I'm in the judge's seat, <laughs> I'm going with Brentwood Academy. Are you? <laughs> and the reason why is they got to travel Science Hill. Yeah, it makes a difference. You know, they got to go to Brentwood Academy. 
And I know they're Science Hill. Both you guys put picking Science Hill. Speed, even Ashley. just like you were saying about full speed. Science Hill but has we speed. We don't know anything about Brentwood Academy, <laughs> and they are undefeated. So Brentwood Academy, that's okay. mine. We'll so, see. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Okay, we'll see what happens. We will check back next week. Okay, guys, when we come back, we are going to talk about Ethan Thomas, Elizabethton, and they're going to be playing Tennessee High. So we will talk about that up next. Experience huge savings on our best-selling mattresses during the Best Buys Mattress Event. Take home this hot buy queen size Serta Perfect Sleeper mattress for only $299. Experience I Series or I Comfort by Serta with queen sets starting as low as $1299. Plus 24 months zero interest and free delivery setup and removal. Only during the Best Buys Mattress Event at America's Mattress. The sleep you need, guaranteed, only at America's Mattress. Get the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. Open seven days a week and offering the most affordable health care in your area. Express Health Clinic is the community's choice to getting you feeling better fast. Express Health Clinic treats for common conditions and illnesses with no appointments needed. Visit Express Health Clinic for all your school sports physical needs. Express Health Clinic also offers pre-employment services and certified DOT physicals. Ill visits start at only $59. Express Health Clinic accepts most major insurance plans along with Medicare and TenCare. Next time you're sick or not feeling well, visit Express Health Clinic. You'll feel better when you you do. Hi folks, this is Alonis Tarr, Tarr Chevrolet in Jefferson City. Tarr family has been serving the Lakeway area since 1952 and moved into this building in 1971. Over 42 years later, you would never guess this is the same dealership. A brand new look, but we still have the most loyal and dedicated staff in East Tennessee to serve all of your automotive needs. But now we have the most state-of-the-art facility around. Our selection of new and used vehicles is bigger than it has ever been. One thing that hasn't changed over the last 60 years is Come trade with us or we'll both lose money. And of course, nobody beats a tar deal. Trusted for over 32 years, our agency has won numerous awards and has served thousands of Tennessee residents. Tammy Francis knows that home health care isn't something you should leave to chance. It is vital that your home health care provider be a reliable and trusted member of the community they serve. That's why Smoky Mountain Home Health and Hospice invest in education and training for their staff. Many have obtained advanced degrees in health care. Just another reason to be sure to request our services when your physician recommends home care. We set the standard in the home care industry. Welcome back to the East Tennessee Sports Report here at Brooklyn Pizzeria. I know we got a big crowd tonight. A lot of action. A lot I of know. excitement. Big crowd. The <laughs> middle school fighting cocks are here with us tonight. Thank you all. Uh, Jeff County, they're playing William Blunt. Will, what are you thinking about that? Oh, uh, I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to see Jeff County win, but I, I think they're going to have a hard time. I think they're going to have a hard time. I think uh, William Blunt's going to probably come out. Uh, be able to get the ball up and down the field on Jeff County. Jeff County's young, uh, a lot of different coaches. It's just it's uh, going to be an uphill battle for okay. Jeff County from here on out. I'm afraid. So, so you're not going to pick your team. I'm not going to pick. I'm not going <laughs> to oh, pick the, the team that I yeah. that I've oh. bled and sweat for. Oh, I, goodness. I want to. I, I, I I'm going to have to go with William Blunt. William Blunt. I mean, well, well, you speak I, the truth. I tell you what, Will. I actually picked your team last week, and we got a victory over I Seymour. Know. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad. I think we're going to. Even though it's not my team, I'm going to speak as if I'm you. And I'm going to go ahead and follow Jeff County. They're on a roll. They uh, had a nice needed win against Seymour, so I'm going to give it to the Patriots this week. Good. Uh, they, they need all the support they can get, Chris. <laughs> all the support they can I'll get. I'll give it to them, then. I, I'll give it to them. <laughs> all right. I guess they I, I'll break the tie here. Well, leaning toward Will, Seymour last week. We know how young Seymour is. Yeah. We know how experienced Seymour is. I'm going William Blunt. All right. Okay. We'll see. Time we'll will see tell. next week. Time will tell. Uh, Greenville versus Harlan County. Greenville. Yeah, I mean, I think that's all. Greenville. <laughs> you don't really need to spend a lot of time on that Greenville. video. Greenville. Okay. Uh, Dobbins-Bennett, and they're playing Ottawa. Ooh. 
Udawa. Udawa. Udawa, yes. That's kind of a crazy yeah. mid-season. That seems uh, like a playoff. It is. That's, yeah. yeah. I, you know, know. Udawa's tough, well, you know. Why would you schedule that? I know. I know. Why would you do that? Chattanooga? Right outside of Chattanooga. Tough team always. Yeah. And they're undefeated, too, so. Has DB, has DB had a loss yet? They're both undefeated, so this is going to be a uh, good matchup. A good this, is, this is one to watch. So uh, I'm going to follow my team that I picked early in the, the year, which was Dobbins-Bennett. I'm going Dobbins-Bennett. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go Dobbins-Bennett, too. It's a shocker. It's going to be a shocker. I, I'm, a, I'm a geographical picker, and they're right up the road, and mm-hmm. i got to go with DB, and they're, they're always tough. It doesn't matter who they're playing. Shocker. Well... If I had to, if I had to <laughs> judge, come on, judge. Uh, I'll, I'll go with DB too. Yeah, DB? I'll go okay. with DB. But, but I always got to put something on there. You know, should have lost against Severe County. You have a hundred. <laughs> you have hundred and fifty yards in penalties. You I got lose. choked up. Buddy. I know. I'm going with DB though. Time will tell. I know. We'll see next week what they do. Okay, guys, we have something really special. Chris actually talked to Ethan Thomas from the Cyclones earlier, uh, actually Friday. So we are going to have that interview for you guys. We on the ride. Okay, everyone, here on the East Tennessee Sports Report, I got a very special guest right beside of me. I was lucky to catch him because this is his off week. This is one standout athlete, one great football player in the state of Tennessee. Right beside of me is Mr. Ethan Thomas for Elizabeth and Cycles. This is week four. He's taking a break for week five. I just want to let you know that this guy right here already is at 800 yards in only four games. You're on pace for your third year to go over 2,000 yards. How does it feel to be able to do that? Oh, man, it feels great. Uh, I mean, I can't say enough. Like, the linemen, they block great. You know, the receivers, they block great. And that's mostly my success right there, you know. What's interesting to know is the type of back you were as a sophomore, you were more of a pounding, uh, crushing type running back. Now, I've noticed it's in the last couple of years you're able to elude the runners more, and also you develop some breakaway speed. Talk about that. Oh man, I've my, well, my sophomore year, I was just determined I was going to run everybody over. You know, that was just my main goal. And as as I went to camps and talked to my coaches and talked to my dad and just talked to other players, you know, just they was they were saying that you need to show everything. You know, get that breakaway speed, show somebody that you can you can make somebody miss and not catch you from behind. And that's that's one of the main things I've been working on all summer. It seems that you're more of an unselfish player uh, to where you just concentrate more on offense. Is is Are we just going to see you on the offense side of the ball? Because I know you can play defense. Um, actually, this week we put in a new package. You know, uh, be playing a little defense. So, I mean, we can go from there. So hopefully I'll be playing a little more defense Throughout, throughout the season. One special quality I've noticed about you on the field is you're not just one that runs and eludes and punishes what you're running. You're also a dominant blocker. Okay, I play this play over and over, and what has happened, Ethan, in this play? That's, that's why he's laughing, because you were able to, because uh, I'm trying to teach my son the pancake block to be able to you know, hit hard enough to put the guy on the ground. You did it not just once in the game. You did it twice on the same play well it was a design play you know it was 18 uh and we just we just went off on the side and the guy came up and i hit him and then turned around there's another guy coming and i hit him too but uh you know i just want to block for everybody everybody i can since they block for me i gotta just return the favor somehow so i try to do the best i can just to block for them you know you're the primary back but uh here this year, and actually in some games last year, you're able to get the job done early. Meaning you're not, you're not type of back that has to carry the ball as much as maybe some other backs do in, in on other teams. Uh, with that being said, and the numbers I see, you probably could really have some astronomical numbers. What you with what you already have, I've noticed you already passed five thousand yards. Um, what what are your goals? I mean, you know that's an amazing goal for an athlete. But what are what are some of your goals? Actually, I, I mean, I want to rack up as many yards as I can before I, before I get out of my high school career. What do you think a championship would, would say to, to you, Coach Witten, the team, and the Elizabethan community if you guys were able to bring back a state championship this year? Man, it shows the off-season dedication is up there. Uh, it just shows that 
we we set out to get it and we, then we got it you know so hopefully hopefully we get it you know coach Whitney's doing a, a great job with you guys and you know best of luck to you guys but just before we go uh, you want to talk about any of the schools that you're looking at or maybe looking at you oh uh, man I mean I have a few schools looking at me but I just you know I just want to go and try to find the right fit for me good great hey, Ethan like I said you're a great individual um, great person like I said on the field and off the field Ethan I want to thank you for taking a little time to be on the East Tennessee Sports Report we on the ride Hope you all enjoyed that interview with Chris and Ethan Thomas. Uh, it was really great to have him be a part of the show. Uh, so let's actually let's talk about him a little bit and the Cyclones. They're playing Tennessee High. He's a tough running back. He's he a tough is. ball player. Uh, uh, D1 prospect. He's going to give them all they can handle. And um, uh, I'm going to go with Tennessee High on that one. Tennessee High. <laughs> Is that, wait, excuse me. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. He's on, he's on the right up. train. I'm, I'm Elizabeth, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm definitely going to go with the Cyclones, and I'm going to tell you what happened. Last year, we went into Tennessee High. Ethan had 300 against them in their house. This year, they're coming to our house. We're going to put 50 more to it. 350 for Ethan oh, and the Cyclones. Oh, wow. Coach oh, Whitten's wow. going to have them ready wow. and popping. Chris. Well, uh, it make you unanimous, Cyclones. Okay, we'll see. It's going to be tough, do. though. Tennessee it is going to be a tough game. It's, it's going to be an interesting game to see. So, actually, when we come back, we are going to talk about the game of the week. So, stay tuned to the East Tennessee Sports Report. Folks are coming from all around East Tennessee to Brooklyn Pizzeria simply because they love the pizza. The Brooklyn Pizzeria pizzas are made fresh daily with plenty of fantastic toppings to choose from. Just look at that hot, delicious pizza. Come get you some right now at Brooklyn Pizzeria. And don't miss the live taping of the East Tennessee Sports Report every Monday night at 7 p.m. And take advantage of their wing specials, pizza specials, and ice cold beverages at your local neighborhood pizzeria. Brooklyn Pizzeria, Newport, Tennessee, beside the best Western office. This weekend, pay no tax at the tax-free mattress sale only at America's Mattress. Serta queen-size mattresses, just $2.99, plus no tax. Or upgrade to any iComfort or iSeries model featuring cool action gel memory foam and pay no tax. Plus, 0% financing until 2019. Pay no tax, only at America's Mattress. The sleep you need, guaranteed, only at America's Mattress. Get the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. Welcome back to the East Tennessee Sports Report. We are here on location at Brooklyn Pizzeria. Everybody come out to Brooklyn Pizzeria and check out our show every Monday night at 7. So let's talk about last week's game of the week was Sevier County and Morristown West. Where do you go? Amazing game? game. I was actually there. I was able to uh, get footage of it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I thought Sevier County was going to come out and just blow them away. They came out right off the bat, threw a touchdown pass. Deuce he looked like he was going to be the man. Crowd was quiet. They threw the flag. Hey, they still marched it down, scored. But after that, Morristown West somehow tied it up. And then, just when you thought things were going to get interesting, Sevier County marched it down, scored again. Then they were going to go up 21 to 14. And then that miraculous play happened, and Morristown West took the ball 100 wow. yards for a touchdown. And guess what? We had a game at that point, and it was a dogfight. But, uh, you know, Sevier County, they was able to sustain minus all those turnovers that uh, mm -hmm. the coach was telling you about, uh, Judge. But uh, they was able to pull it out. Uh, wow. This morning, talking to Coach Lingo, he talked about the things that he hoped that they got at it out before they go to Maryville mm -hmm. and it was a lot of turnovers they lost two interceptions three fumbles so it was, a, it was a lot of things that happened in that game but like he said they never gave up and that's the one thing Sevier County's got they never give up they never give up I'm quite surprised though I 
I kind of thought the Trojans were going to be a, a hot team this year. They started mm -hmm. out hot. They've kind of cooled their heels a little bit. They played two really good football teams. Yeah. But, but West is good. They've yeah. got some good talent. The big running back. The Which big he, old he got line. hurt, Will. The, uh, their oh. starter got hurt in the first quarter. So that made a little bit of difference. But uh, we mentioned a kid earlier in the season called Blevins. He's their backup. He, he didn't miss a beat. So wow. he still well, made it good. interesting That's awesome. Yeah, that's made. good. They, they rely a lot on their ground game yeah. up there. But. Uh, two really good football teams there, Sevier County and Marshtown West. Well, it says a lot. They're actually Sevier County. They're part of last week's game of the week, and they're this week's game of the week uh, against Maryville. So, I mean, there's a – there's two. that sweat off your brow. Maryville's systematic. I mean, it's yeah. the same oh, that's right. thing every yeah. year. It just doesn't matter. I mean, I, I mean, them and Fulton would be – Oh, a what a match! Game, oh. and I'm going to tell you what, Maryville in that game, Maryville in this game, Maryville yeah. next year. It's <laughs> every Maryville. every it's year, like a dynasty. <laughs> it is. It is a small dynasty. I'm going Maryville. Yeah, Judge. <laughs> Well, well, okay. Will's picking hey, Maryville. Coach is watching you, Judge. I, I know. I know, right? <laughs> and the Chris pressure. went Maryville, but here's the key. Let me tell you something. Sevier County is due for a big win. They are. They lost a nail biter to Dobbins Bennett. Mm -hmm. They won a dog fight this past Friday night. I, I have utmost respect for George Quarles and his team, but I believe this year, the one thing we have we have noticed when we do the Sevier County Sports Show, that Sevier County is a totally different team. They're more physical, and I think that's what it's going to take. It's like Coach said today, they cannot make mistakes. They can't give Maryville the ball and let them, because that Maryville doesn't make mistakes. Just like Will said, they don't make mistakes. I'm taking Sevier County. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm sorry. Right. You got Whatever to go you back say, and Judge. Judge. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Okay. I'm missing everybody's seat. Up I know, there. apparently. <laughs> so, off this week, uh, actually, East, West, Cock County, and Cherokee, they don't play um, this week. Uh, let's talk about the Buccaneers, Chris. You, I mean, you played there. Uh, yeah, they actually sent me a letter. I got it a couple of days ago. A lot of interesting things going on. I will not talk about it. May show it on uh, our website okay. since we're running a little bit out of time. But most importantly, they got a big game this week. <laughs> Which is amongst themselves. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the first good. scrimmage, yeah, but everybody's excited that's about it. Awesome, so they're man. making a nice full day. Uh, people can come out. Uh, looks like it's going to start. Uh, scrimmage is going to be at 415, but you can come out and join them early in the day. They're actually going to watch UT Georgia on a big jumbotron there oh, wow. before the game starts. So. Speaking you, of that. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, go ahead Bill. No. Saying, uh, I mean, how great is that to have the – football program back at ETSU. Oh, yeah. Coach yeah. Torbush. Yes. He's yeah. top shelf. Oh, yeah. Um, I think they're going to do a lot. He recruited me back in high school when he was at North Carolina, and he's just a class, class yeah. guy. Yeah, good guy. And you're going to see a lot of good things yeah. from ETSU in I the think. future. They're building a buzz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good quality yeah. guys from excited. around it's gonna East be Tennessee, and that's – that's what they need, and that's good. Exactly. I'm fired exactly. up for them. Exactly. I am too. I I'm can't wait. To see I can't it. wait. So, actually, let's talk about Vols for a few seconds. Um, they were off this last week, and we're playing Georgia. Big, big test. I know. It is. But I'm going to tell you what. I think that we really showed uh, where we're headed. Butch has got yeah. the team in the in the right mindset. We're on the right path. They held uh, their own. They, the they played against Oklahoma. Oklahoma would have put up 30-plus exactly. points on Alabama. Yeah, I mean, and we've got a lot of young yeah, kids. So. We were just that far away from making it a ball game. I know. Uh, uh, we're playing with some young bucks and, you know, playing against a senior-laden team like Oklahoma, right. and we hung in there. You know, everybody said that if they could put up 50 points, they were going to, but the thing about it is they couldn't. They couldn't, exactly. They couldn't. Do it. They couldn't. And uh, so – uh, I'm looking for big things out of Tennessee on the road this weekend. George is awesome, uh, uh, but it would be a great – It could be done, though. It could, it could be done, and it would be outstanding if we could go down there. It would be. Get one, steal one from the Bulldogs. We're due. We yeah. are. We are due. We are. Win. Yes, we, we are. are. That, so, that go ball. Very thing I was going to say, Will. They're due. They're due. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, if it's not this week or, or it'll be Florida, we, it's going to happen. If we get this Georgia game, Florida There'll will be, be a madhouse. Yep. I encourage everybody oh, to get your to tickets go to the game. Saturday night. Yes. 
ticket Saturday. It'll be yeah. sold out. Ticket Saturday. I know, right? <laughs> right I'm telling you. Okay, All right, everybody. Well, just real quick. Yeah, you guys want me to be truthful on what's going to happen this Saturday. <laughs> okay. Tell it, Chris. Oh, I, well, we're out of time. I would tell you, but we're out of time. Oh, okay. well, you can edit it in. So now. when we come back, play of the week, we're going to talk more about Sevier <laughs> County and Morristown <laughs> West. Stay tuned, everybody. Thinking about end-of-life care can be quite overwhelming. We understand that. When you are aware of the help that we can provide, you will be able to make an informed decision and feel ready to bring on our team of compassionate and caring medical professionals. Families that have used our hospice services tell us often that they wish they had chosen our care sooner. They don't know what they would have done without us. Relief comes easily to patients and families as our services are covered by Medicare, VA, and most private insurances. Call us today. Been seven days a week in offering the most affordable health care in your area. Express Health Clinic is the community's choice to getting you feeling better fast. Express Health Clinic treats for common conditions and illnesses with no appointments needed. Visit Express Health Clinic for all your school sports physical needs. Express Health Clinic also offers pre employment services and certified DOT physicals. Ill visits start at only $59. Express Health Clinic accepts most major insurance plans along with Medicare and TenCare. Next time you're sick or not feeling well, visit Express Health Clinic. You'll feel better when you. You do. Welcome back to the East Tennessee Sports Report, and I'm joined now by Cock County Middle School head coach Eric Knight. Coach, give me a rundown on how your season's going and what's coming up. Well, we're, uh, we're we played five games and we're four and one. Uh, we're a young team, but we've got Mari this Thursday, which will be a is that a home game, game or it'll be a away game at Mari. A test test for sure test for sure now what we're going to do is coach is going to hand the mic to number one he's going to introduce himself give his name as i call it name rank and serial number my name is carson nichols i'm quarterback running back and safety what grade you in carson i'm in eighth grade all right go cox i'm whitten williams outside linebacker running back and i'm in eighth grade number five i'm jaron Insley. i'm quarterback running back outside linebacker and i'm in eighth grade I'm Levi Daniels, and I play outside linebacker, and I'm in eighth grade. My name's Harrison Smith. I play cornerback and wide receiver, and I'm in eighth grade. My name's Jared Smith. I play right tackle, and I'm in eighth grade. My name's Jake Conway. I'm in seventh grade, and I play left tackle. Jaden Pruitt, cornerback and running back, and I'm in seventh grade. Levi Soller. Uh, tied in and in on defense. Seventh grade. Isaiah Elliott, uh, outside linebacker, safety and running back, and I'm in seventh grade. Connor Ramsey, I'm a wide receiver and outside linebacker, and I'm in seventh grade. Austin McKinn, defensive end and tight end. What grade you in? Eighth grade. grade. Don Lopez, a right tackle and left end, left seventh grade. Uh, London Shelton, running back and middle linebacker in seventh grade. My name is Paul Tomey. I'm a middle linebacker and a running back, and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Jacob Duncan, uh, eighth grade, and uh, linebacker and safety. I running back sometimes. Sometimes. I'm running back sometimes. Bryson Chase on. I'm in seventh grade, and I play right guard, left tackle, and defensive tackle. Well, he plays three positions. Uh, I'm Brandon Stokely. I play uh, left guard and right tackle, and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Jacob Roy Hill, and I play defense guard, right? Yeah. You have to ask the coach. Yeah. My name is Bison Connor, and I play defensive end. I'm in seventh grade. My name is Dante Zizer. I play defensive line and offensive line, and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Jonah Holt, and I play center, and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Aiden DeVille, and I'm in eighth grade, and I play defensive tackle. I know you. My name is Kelvin Knott. I play left guard, and I'm in seventh grade. <laughs> My name is Ryder Campbell, and I play center and right guard. I'm in seventh grade. All right, there they are. Give them a hand. <laughs> Will, you say something? Be sure to come out again we'll next wrap, Monday. Wrap us out, Will. Wrap, wrap us out. out. Wrap us out, Wrap Will. us out, Will. <laughs> it was all a dream. Yep. I used to read Word Up magazine. <laughs> Salt and heavy and pepper D up in the limousine. 
That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Be sure to come out again next Monday. Yeah.